Hey guys, Doug back again. Uh, let's take a look at your ebook and walk through some of the basic functionality here uh, to hopefully set you up for success, for studying, for test taking, for everything. It's all here at your fingertips, everything that you'll need uh, to go through. This is kind of like a, a textbook on steroids. Um, so let's walk through the basic functionality. Uh, we've all, uh, you know, read before. Uh, it's very, very simple. If I want to read, I just read. You know, I can flip pages by hitting either one of these to flip pages. Um, so it always starts with an introductory page, goes to um, a uh, different sections, then uh, culminates with a chapter quiz and a blog entry and assignment. In the later chapters, we have a lot of assignments that are, um, you know, required to do for you. So. Let's walk through the basic, basic functionality. Every single chapter has a table of contents, so I can navigate anywhere through the entire book by just hitting table con my table of contents over here, and I can make that viewable or unview or, or uh, disappear by uh, hitting this button here. So that is my table of contents. Let's click back to the introduction chapter here. Um, now you'll notice that uh, there are a lot of YouTube links um, so if to click and make a, a what's called a hotspot active, all you have to do is hold it, your cursor over that hotspot and then go ahead and make it active. Uh, everything is viewable directly from uh, the, the hotspot itself. Um, so that there are different types of hotspot. Let's, let's cover those uh, very quickly. There are um, the, the video hotspots, which you have seen. There are also interactive image hotspots, which illustrate certain points. Do we also have links, hyperlinks that are embedded? You know, if you see something on the screen, just hold your cursor over it. If it is actually a hotspot, it will activate itself and let you know. All of the content uh, lets you know that it's active or if it's just an image, it's just an image. So you, you get the point here. Okay, uh, let's uh, fast forward here to the uh, some, some of the cool features of the basic functionality. Now, um, you know, if, if I'm using a, a normal textbook, you know, I, I've got to have uh, my computer open or some other thing open. If I let's say I want to look up a word or, or something in that nature, uh, let's just uh, look up this phrase here. Basically, to uh, to to use the full functionality of the ebook, I can actually highlight any phrase, um, and I can search the dictionary. Dictionary gives me, you know, the definition of the of whatever that word is. Um, also, if I I, I want to remember, say I want to remember something, I can highlight a section of text. Um, you know, if I, you know, my my mentor tells me this will appear on the test, I can highlight that. That way, when I come back to study later, I know that this is important information. And all of this again is just available by highlighting a, a section of text with, and then uh, right clicking. Um, in addition to that, I'm able to create comments. Uh, these comments now will actually stay with the textbook. So if I create a comment about this phrase, okay, this comment actually goes to uh, you know us here. And anybody who comes back over here, we know that there's a comment here. Um, so we can we can hover over this, and um, you know there's a comment here. In, now the the comments are universal, so all of the students you know are, are can be commenting on different things, on different aspects of, of the, the textbook. Maybe they found out something, or there's a link to some other website that has really good information. You know this is the place to put it to help your fellow students, and also to to create a community. So the comments feature very very valuable there. Um, uh, in addition to that, let's let's go over our tool menu options here. If I click the comment threads link, what this does is this shows me all the comments that are for that particular textbook. Just below that, I have the hotspot link. So all of the hotspots in this particular chapter are available and viewable here. Um, so I can just you know fast forward to that and then search. If I know uh, you know I can search the textbook or the dictionary if I for a specific word that's also available here. Okay. Um, these uh, uh, tools up here, obviously, this is my pointer, allows me to select text. Um, this is, uh, you know, a, a hand that allows me to move uh, things that are on the page. Pen, let's say I want to underline something, pen, pencil tool. Now, these are only viewable to me. This is not viewable to anybody else in the textbook. But I can choose different, uh, you know, on, if I want to do my own highlighting, you know, I can... 
you know, co collect a, a thicker pen and then I can just highlight one sentence. Uh, I can change the opacity of that pen. So very, very light things, very, very important things here. Um, so a lot more options uh, once clicking on that. If I don't like something I've written, I can uh, erase that by using the erase tool. And then bookmark. I can bookmark different pages uh, as I see fit. So a lot of ways to study, a lot of ways to get ahead here, a lot of ways to make this really, really accessible and enjoyable experience. You know, the goal in, in, in making this book was to create an experience that goes beyond the common textbook. It's because we like to learn by doing, you know, we incorporate a lot of different learning methods in, in how to approach this textbook. This is the first step towards your career. So definitely take this serious. And remember, there's a lot, a lot of information here. Um, it's no telling what you'll be tested on. Okay, uh, the last thing that we're going to cover would be your testing in your blog entry. For every single chapter, you will have a chapter test or chapter quiz. Okay, so the way that this works is you are, uh, you know, it's just like any other hotspot. You can click it and then you're asked to log in to your student portal. Okay, you're given that student portal login information after, uh, right around the time you did your um, enrollment. Um, so you, you, if you don't have that information, obviously you want to make sure you get that from your student services representative. Uh, but uh, you go ahead and enter your student services login information. And then once you log in, you're able to go to um, your, your testing area. So... And the quiz actually comes up. This would all be information that you're given inside your textbook or inside videos or things like that. Uh, be sure to hit the print button to print that out. It's very, very important. You need to print out a copy of this test uh, and bring it to your mentor. Okay, the mentor needs to uh, go physically go over that test with you. So make sure that you bring a copy of this test every single time you go to the session. After we finished our test, we can go over here to our blog entry. Um, now, the blog entry is meant to be done after your sessions, right, for that week. Um, but basically, the way this works is you want to document everything that happens. You want to keep a, a, a record of how you've evolved in this industry because it's going to do a lot of different things for us. It's going to help us when it comes time to build a resume for you. So make sure you include all that information. But guess what? It doesn't just have to be print. Yes, you're able to print here. Um, but there's a lot of different opportunities here. And, and this is also viewable to, to you know other students. And you guys can create a community there, and create cap collaborations, meet people, get out there. Um, so blog entry, very, very valuable tool that we take advantage of. And there's one for each chapter. Make sure that you fill it out. It's very, very important. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to, to let us know ways that we can improve things that you've noticed. Uh, we're constantly, you know, looking for opportunities to do that. Um, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call the number that's on your screen right now. And, you know, happy textbooking.